Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And my plan had been, my plan had been to upload, oh, say, one CEO in pajamas video per week until I go through them all. I figured out I could probably, you know, do that and, and make it to April of 2021, as I think is where I was about. I have that many videos going. And I have currently uploaded enough so that I have one through June. We have videos through June. Every Thursday, a CEO in pajamas video. I've got Fallout 4 videos through April. And then that series is going to wrap up. And I'm trying to get, I was trying to, you know, trying to get some more, you know, space out Saturday stuff going. Maybe some TF2 Tuesdays. But, as you can see clearly, normality. Normality has taken a vacation. Okay, things are things are kind of wild here, and you know I'm trying to come up with some good words for this, and I've I've already got another video where I speak to this, so I'm just gonna cut right in here, and you know give you my thoughts on what's going on in the world with this whole coronavirus sort of thing. Lots of apple cider, white distilled, not so much. The beans are gone. The beans? I mean, there, there's a little beans, but beans? Wait a minute, I think I've made the connection. If you were to buy a lot of baked beans and consume a lot of baked beans, what would you suddenly have a use for? A lot of toilet paper. Yes, we've made the connection. I kid, I kid, I understand we're under a lot of stress right now, and people are going to react to that stress and try to relieve that stress in different ways. These are weird times. I mean, not this kind of weird. It's weird, very strange times in very negative ways. Yes, yeah, so people are going to do stuff and you're going to have to expect people to buy lots of toilet paper or, you know, just generally freak out, I guess. There's different things that they're going to do. We're all experiencing some level of anxiety with this whole coronavirus thing. We just are. We're really being forced out of our comfort zones, or strangely enough, forced into our comfort zones where we cannot leave, which makes them less comfortable. By some strange definition, you know, it's still the same place, yet if you can't leave, there's tension. People can't go to work, they, they can't go to church, they, they're watching the market go completely into the toilet. But these are temporary conditions. This is not going to last forever. You have to remember that, because it starts to feel like the new normal, and then that, that gets very heavy. It's not going to be the new normal. We're going to get through all this. As soon as people are let back outside again, guess what's going to happen? They're going to want haircuts. They're going to want dinner. They're going to want movies. They're going to want all the things that they can't have right now. So we should have a boom that goes along with this bust. If you're upset that you're not going to church, just remember, you are the church. The church building is just a place you go to, to pray. You can still pray. God is still there. That None of that changes. Just because they say, oh, you can't have church on Sunday, you can't go to Mass on Sunday, that doesn't mean that anything you've ever experienced in church is not there. God has plans for your spiritual development, whether those doors open or not. So I know this is all stressful, everybody. I'm not trying to minimize that, but I think it's extremely important that you don't focus on that. Just breathe. Not too close to anybody, but still breathe. Yes, there is a disease going around, and yes, certain people are vulnerable to it. And all of this effort, which really, you have to think of it kind of this way. There's a tremendous impact to the overall economy and everything like that. But the outcome is to limit the exposure of the disease to those vulnerable people. And if we're, as a society willing to make that sacrifice and say, you know what, there's 1% of the people who would be really heavily affected by this, but we can shut everything down for those people, that's a healthy society. That's a good thing. So, like I said, breathe, but again, not real close to anybody, and don't worry about it. We're going to get through all this. We're going to come out of it stronger, I think. This is going to be an interesting, not necessarily fun experience, but we're going to get through this stronger. Good luck and God bless. That was from my personal channel over in my, my Vince Shooter channel. And I thought, well, I can't, I don't think I can improve on that. You know, I don't have any better words than that, so I'll put that in here. 
In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the videos that I have, ready to go, and as quickly as I can, just keep uploading, just either one a day or two a day or however. It takes a while to upload these things. They're, they're large. So, you know, if I can keep at least some entertainment coming to you, maybe that can, you know, be of some comfort when you're stuck home. If I could help fight boredom, you know, that, you know, that'll be a good thing. If there's one video that gets somebody through one half hour that they would have been bored otherwise, then uh, then the whole thing will be worth it. So, expect the uh, the schedule to get a little bit swamped here. It's not going to be as regular as it has been. We're just going to keep moving things along and hopefully uh, help everybody out in these kind of troubled times. But it's going to be okay. Just breathe. Again, not too close to anybody. And, you know, God bless you all. I'll be praying for everybody here, all of my viewers. And we'll get through all this. On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.